Yo, what's happening guys, it's Flo, and I'm here with Sly, and today we're gonna talk about the final three finalists for the Los Angeles Lakers head coaching job. So it breaks out like this, we got Bucks assistant, Darvin Ham, Golden State Warriors assistant, Kenny Atkinson, and the former Trailblazers head coach, Terry Stotts. So Sly, of these three, who do you think? Honestly, man, I'll be real with you. None of these guys freaking do it for me, you know? They just doesn't, they don't do it for me. I think, honestly, the Lakers fan base as a whole, they'll probably be like Conor McGregor. Who the fuck is that guy? Like, honestly, I want a guy that's Showtime. That's what I want. I want someone like a Quinn Snyder. I want a guy like a Mark Jackson. Um, the Portland coach, I mean, I like him and all, but what has he done? Like, really? Like, he got fired by Portland. He had that one season, I believe, where he made it to the Western Conference Finals. Um, and I don't know. Uh, what do you think, man? Yeah, man. Uh, like I said, Terry Sots, yeah, he had longevity in the league, but he really never did anything. I know he's in a small market in Portland, but I just didn't really see him kind of. I think he's already reached his ceiling. I don't see him going any m much further. I don't see him being the coach that leads the team to the championship. Uh, Kenny Atkinson, um, yeah, I know he had that stint in uh, freaking in Brooklyn with a few of those older guys who were superstars. So I guess he knows how to deal with old players and the Lakers currently. <laughs> uh, the roster is built that way, but we're not going to win like that. And I, I don't think we'll win if we had uh, Kenny as a head coach. I, even the best one is Darvin Ham. I know uh, LeBron James really likes him. He's probably going to be the guy if I were to bet on money because I know LeBron would uh, vouch for him and he's younger. So usually you want to go with that younger guy more of a fresh take on the game uh new ideas but like you said for the most part man i don't think any of these guys are uh laker head coach worthy they just don't have that presence to them that you need to be the main coach in the uh, for the lakers organization you gotta have that like you gotta have that it factor about you even frank vogel kind of had a little bit of an it factor he was that mm -hmm. defensive mind coach um he didn't really have the image to him, but he really knew his stuff. And then, um, obviously, he got booted because of the Westbrook situation. But I don't know, man. I'm actually really upset when I heard this. I was like, dang, I was hoping maybe a Quinn Snyder would have been in there or a Mark Jackson, like you said. But we'll see what happens, man. Yeah, like I said, um, I, I get him. I give him respect because, obviously, he won a championship. He's been part of that championship roster with uh, Giannis. Um, but I don't know if he's ready for Hollywood. I don't. Personally, like I said, if the fan base, if we pick him up, the fan base will be like, who, who's this guy? You know, even though like we know who he is because we follow the NBA, but like the casual fan, especially the, the guys that go to Staples, you know, it's more of the Hollywood crowd, you know, the like uh, just going there for the scene. They'll be like, I don't know about this, you know, because we like I said, we're used to like the Phil Jacks, the big iconic guys, um, the Showtime Lakers, uh, Pat Riley. Um, so. Magic Johnson, you know, Magic Johnson was the coach too, so for a little bit. So I don't know, man. Hopefully, whoever we get, they could prove us wrong and uh, we could make a run at it because um, right now I'm kind of not intrigued by the coaches out there we, right now. All uh, right. Well, you guys, let us know in the comments what you guys think about these final three. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace. Peace.